a public video is publicly available on YouTube. So everywhere you look in trending, home, search, suggested, all those videos are public videos. A private video is private, not publicly available on YouTube. You can't view the video if you have a link, for example. Only the account that uploaded the video can view the video. There is an exception to that, which I will circle back to in a minute. An unlisted video is the perfect middle between a private video and a public video. If you have the link to that video, you can view the video or you can embed a video on a website. For example, I made a promotion video for my ebook, What Big Tubers Don't Tell You About Starting a YouTube Channel. I made the video unlisted because I want to embed it on my website, but I don't want it to be found on YouTube. Now let's take a look at how we can change our visibility settings. On youtube.com, go to YouTube Studio, click on the icon in the right top corner over here, and then click on YouTube Studio. In YouTube Studio, click on Create and click on Upload Video to upload a video. Then select your video file like you normally would do. Then select your video file, click on Open. Now the video starts uploading and you can enter a title, description, etc, etc, etc. We have a couple of tabs over here on the top of the screen. We can click directly on those tabs if we want to, or we can click next, then it will go to the next tab. Next, 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 next. And now we are on the visibility tab. And in the visibility tab, I can say that a video should be private. And here we can share, if we want to, we can share a private video with another account. Click on share privately and now enter an email address. I've entered an email address. When I click on done, the system will send an email to email at case.com. And when the receiver clicks on the link in that email, they can watch that video, but exclusively only on their account. For now, I'm gonna say cancel. I can also set my video here to unlisted. I can set my video to members only. Once you have enough subscribers on your channel, you can publish a video to your members only and I can set the video to public and then when I would hit now publish, then my video would go out public to everyone and the video is available on YouTube. We have also the schedule function over here, which I will circle back to in a minute. For now, I'm going to set the video to private and click save. When I click on content in the menu on the left side of the screen, then I can find my video I just uploaded here. I can directly say if I want to change this video to private or public because I get the same dialogue as we had before. So I can now change it to unlisted members only or public. I hit cancel for now because I'm going to show you another method. When I click on the pencil icon, I can set the visibility also in the videos detail page. And again, I have the same options here and also I have the schedule function over here. The schedule function makes your video private until it hits this date. It isn't unlisted or it isn't members only, your video is private. So if you want to share a link of a video that is going to be released in the future, people can't see the video until this date criteria is met. We have also the option to set the video as a premiere and that means that the video is somewhat live streamed. You have the video that is playing, you can't stop it or anything and viewers that see that video at that moment can chat in the chat. If I want to release this video at 4.15 in the morning on April 20th, then I click and say done. In order for this change to take effect, I have to say save. If you want to grow on YouTube, check out some of my other videos on the channel. I grew this channel from zero to a thousand subscribers within five months in the most competitive niche on YouTube, the YouTube advice niche, and I was monetized within a year.